Stagecoach Weekend. Can I get this way? Already got his shirt off. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, Brock is in for a surprise. He doesn't even know. So he knows his mom is coming, but he doesn't know that not just one, but both of his sisters are here and they're going to surprise him and I'm going to catch it all on video. How are you feeling, honey? Well, I got the like the blues from fest the festival blues. <laughs> but I'm excited to see mom. And she can see Summer. Summer, you get to meet your Gigi right now. <sighs> Hello. Summer gets to meet her grandma. It's grandma, not Gigi. Oh. Grandma. Hello, Hello. Oh, I go see your Hello. grandma. Baby. Hi. Is it, 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 is
Let's snap that <laughs> Oh, she's like, oh, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> we just couldn't do that. <laughs> Where do we go? You gotta do whatever you want. Wait, she had to take me later. Oh, watermelon? Maybe. Fuck me. Guys, I lost like seven pounds. Oh, Raro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you so much. Hey, Raro! Chicken salt? So here's the rule I have in the house. It's not just for you. I know, this is the rule in the house. Is that what? funny, I, don't, I say no in the shop, so I don't have to take it home, so I don't eat it. Erica always carves every fucking weekend and fills my house with candy. <laughs> and I can't say no twice. Like, I go, oh, it's right there, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> is that silly? Yeah. Did you know? Oh, there you go, you are right. Look, it's Save the Chubby Unicorns, and it's a coral one. Which one do you like more? I like them both. Okay. <laughs> I can't I like, decide. I like the Chubby Unicorn. I, like, I mean, I like this one, but then I saw this one. Is that fat shaming the Chubby Unicorn? What? It's not uh, I'm just saying. It's a hippo. Yeah. Rhinoceros. Yeah. Aww. Summer, do you see the baboons? Are those baboons? What are we looking at? You saying hi to them? Yeah, we don't want you to be a meat for the chaka. We don't want you to be a meat for the You okay? Talk, talk, talk. Go into his mouth. Look. Why does that just seem so normal? <laughs> Listen, if Tarzan was a thing, I'd be that. I'd do it. We should be Tarzan and Jane for Halloween. We've got so many options, honey. We do. <laughs> Mom's enchiladas for the first time. Let's see if you like them. Let's see what you think. Side of green beans. Mmm. -hmm. She's gonna be like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going in for more. I think she likes them. Well, that's chicken, that's not your enchilada, <laughs> that's just a part of it. Let's see if she goes back to all good goods. Have I got it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm getting. Go summer. Yay! Go summer! Oh, she's, she's, she's warming, warming up. up. <laughs> that's cute. She's like, oh, no, 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 not fine, not no. Fine. no. Fine. <laughs> you ready? Summer. You get a bocce ball? Honey, you ready? Come here. Go, baby! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Uh oh, not that way. Wait, wait, wait. 
Is it lemonade? Is it Nick? It's in the Coca Cola range. <laughs> of course it's lemonade. He said soft drinks, right? <laughs> Coca Cola yeah. don't even do so that. They do Sprite. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Like lemonade is Sprite. No, underneath Sprite does not have the light coloured writing saying lemonade. It's different. <laughs> one's so different. fizzy and one's an iced tea. <laughs> It's like a lemon, like a homemade lemon. I don't know what mine is. What is it? No, it's not. She's sitting here. Where is it? We've got appetizers, oh. salads, jumpers. Hang on, here, Mum, look. Pizzas. Fish eyes on the Coca Cola range in Australia. <laughs> we have the lemonade Sprite the soft drink can. Yeah. Sorbo Coca Cola in the soft drink section. <laughs> Rest my point. <laughs> what? Okay, so an appetizer is what you would think of as an entree, and an entree <laughs> is what you would think of as a main. Okay. So these are mains. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought that, but I'm going. I've been like, every every table table table. Yeah, like, no, those are, are main. Like, appetizers <laughs> are your version of an entree. <laughs> well, it is our last night. In yeah. San Diego with the fam. Yeah. It's gonna oh. be weird without you guys. I know. It is gonna be weird. Yeah. But hey. What's that? Oh, that. That's like. Is our new Litter Robot 4. We're fancy. We have the cats poop by where we poop. <laughs> <laughs> Very American. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna show you guys a little unboxing. All right, y'all, I am so excited. And you know why? Because we've got the new Litter Robot 4. Four, baby. Let's open it up. Go soon, baby. All right, we are receiving the beta unit Litter Robot 4. We are some of the first people to try this. And I am so excited because I love my LR3 and I know this one's going to be even better. Yeah, and Salem, it's your new Litter Robot, buddy. Well, we're here with our Litter Robot 4, but before we get into this, honey, how long have you had cats? So I have had cats for, oh my God, 13 years now. Penny is literally about to be 13. Salem is eight. So for over a decade of my life, I have spent time scooping cat litter and uh, I was definitely a dog person for this yeah. one reason so when we found out I was pregnant I learned that one of the things pregnant women can't do is be around cat litter because there's something in the cat's poop that is toxic to pregnant women so Brock had to step up and scoop the cat poop every day every other day Thanks, and cuties. I felt bad especially like anytime we have someone you know come over to house sit I'm like and don't forget you have to clean the cat litter. Especially because we travel so much. We're we work, do. we're filming. Well, I mean, you the filming aspect, but you've been traveling for but, 10 years. Yeah, and that's one of the things I love about cats, and I'm a cat person, is because they are so self-efficient. Give them food, water, and a litter box, and they're good, but the litter box has to still be cleaned all of the time. Plug and play, litter robot. <laughs> but with the litter robot four, the cat hops in, it has a sensor, so it times it. So when they hop out, it gives it enough time that it then rotates, it dumps what they just did in the bottom, in this drawer, right here, and then it rotates it back, puts all the fresh litter back in, and you only have to empty this drawer, like literally, what, once a week? Once a week. You just, and now, when we have someone else there, I'm like, can you just open the drawer, tie it up, put a new bag in? And the so best easy. part about it is at the top here, it tells you if it's full, and because of the app, you have wherever you are, it's mm -hmm. going to tell you 25%, 50%, 75% full, and it has a gauge there. So you can be safe knowing that your cats are pooping in a clean shelter, yep. spaceship, whatever you want to call this bad boy, and know that your guests, whoever's taking care of your house, can just pull it open and clean it out by pulling the bag out. Yeah, so it has definitely made life better and easier, you know, with traveling. And what I love about the LR4 is look at 
this space. I feel like the, LR, the L3, right? Yeah. The LR3 was great. Great. That was our intro into Little Robot, and it and it did exactly what we did. But now it just got better. Yeah, I feel like the cats were definitely a little intimidated by the three at first because it was a smaller space to jump in. But with this, oh my God, they're gonna love it. I'm I feel so like excited. if we're looking at the size from the three to the four, it's got a bigger circumference for them to get into, mm -hmm. but actually it's smaller, surprisingly yeah, on the face. Yeah, less space. Yeah, and even though it's it's smaller, but yet bigger. Can, well done, you did it. That's kind of the ultimate win. Well done, little robot. As you can see, this one has a much smaller space, which I personally think is a little scarier for the cats for the first time to jump in. This is way more open air. Um, also, this one, I haven't put fresh litter or anything in it in a while because I knew we were going to get our new one and we we're going to use that. But my favorite feature, honey, is the top up here. So right up here you've got your button so we don't have to bend down on the oh, buttons down there. I like that. Uh, obviously both of them have the same step tray. This is a bit more accessible for the cats. In and out. Yeah, so the features, the buttons are up on top this time. Wider space. I mean, it just... Everything better. Thank you very much, little robot. That's our story. Hopefully, Thanks, you guys, guys get your one soon. Yeah.